from Hoffman Shave and Soap Company, The Great Reset. And we're going to reset this face from two days worth of beard growth to clean shaven, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WhatsApps everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. I'm very excited to use it. It has an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. Uh, before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel welcome make yourself at home check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing i welcome your company and your comments well here it is from hoffman's shave and soap company you've you've probably heard me talk about it in previous monday morning mailbags it's finally dropped here it is the great reset boy does this have an absolutely beautiful masculine scent absolutely fantastic five ounces about 27 dollars i will put the scent notes on the screen oh this is absolutely a beautiful beautiful masculine scent it is refined gentlemanly but it has that ruggedness to it really really do like that so we are going to shave with this it's a brand new shave puck uh, this is in this is in cooperation with Hendrix Classics, and boy, they make a nice soap base. So I'm really looking forward to shaving with this. I, as I say, I've got two days worth of beard growth here. If you can see that, boy, oh boy, let's put some hot water on top of this and get things going. Ooh, that's good. That's good and hot. Like that a lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just let that set up. I'm going to be using my Peregrino shaving brush to whip up that lather. This is from Phoenix Shaving. Really like this brush a lot. Haven't used it in quite some time. Uh, no pre-shave because we're just going to gauge the performance of the shave soap. But I'm going to be doing a face lather because I really do want to lift this whisker and kind of, uh, you know, get some nice, nice coverage from the shave soap. And I am anticipating that. We're going to be using uh, my Parker 78R. Boy, this has been an absolutely wonderful, delightful razor. Uh, just love this. It's three piece. It's a three piece razor right here. Handle, base plate, cap. I have the graphite um, coating. It comes in three different. Um, has three different finishes, uh, graphite or gunmetal, which is what I have, a high luster chrome, and also a satin chrome. And we're going to be using a Parker razor blade. Boy, these have been great too. You get five blades when you buy uh, this Parker razor, or just about any Parker razor, as I recall. And these blades are terrific. These are a premium platinum uh, coated blade. I believe they're coated with platinum and chromium, I do believe. Stainless steel blade, absolutely wonderful, fantastic. We're going to go ahead and load this, <laughs> load this blade. Uh, just really looking forward to the shave. I don't like to skip a day. I like to shave every day. Uh, and you know what? I just figured out. I'll skip it. I'll skip a day because we're going to take this shave soap for a, a test drive. Let's see how it lathers. Let's see what kind of coverage I get. Here's the blade right there. There's the, um, the cap. Here is uh, my base plate right here. I'm going to set that in place like that. End tabs of the blade are enclosed in the razor head and boy that's just nice the way that snugs up and the blade balance and alignment on this are just spectacular. Yeah nice weight, very nimble, very maneuverable, really nice thin handle that has some outstanding knurling for some really really nice grippiness. So we're going to set that right there. Uh, we're obviously going to finish it off with uh, my alum block with the no slip grip and the dry dock system, and also the great reset uh, aftershave from Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. Really terrific, wonderful, wonderful scent. Boy, am I looking! For, I am really looking forward to this shave. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. Got my brush scuttle here to keep things nice and warm. Uh, I think that's got everything. Let's take this hot water here. That's long enough. Take that hot water there and let's just 
get that in the sink there. The uh, initial scent of the soap in the puck is nice. It's, it's very, very good. It is a little bit on the subtle side, but uh, I'm expecting, yeah, there it is. Yes, <laughs> the water hit the sink, and that scent is just, just exploding. It's just starting to envelop the room here. Really, really nice. So yeah, the scent will, um, will build uh, with the lather uh, very nicely from what I understand, and that's an indication right now that that's what's going to happen. So I'm really looking forward to it. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shade. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, yeah. Really looking, really, really looking forward to this shave. Really looking forward to this shave. Yeah. Just trying to load that brush there, trying to get it on camera as best I can. Boy, that's terrific. And again, I'm doing a face lather. I have some really nice lathering bowls. The Starry Night lathering bowls, absolutely beautiful. Came from viewer Beth Jones. I would love to use that also. But right now, I just want to get a face lather done. And I'm also, <laughs> I'm also very cautious of that while I'm using it on camera because, you know, holding it up like this and on camera, I'm afraid it's going to slip out of my hand. When I have it, I can lather with it down here, and it's safe. It's safe. But when you start getting it up here like this, you got to be careful. So if I can get two cameras set up and keep it on the counter and lather there, I think it probably would be a, a better strategy for me, much like I do the Dreamscape Scuttle. But you've seen me use it before, and once I get... Once I get the ladder built, I tend to just let it sit on the counter. Okay, look, look at that. That looks like it's, when I start getting these little peaks like that, little peaks in there, can you see that? That's when I know I'm good to go and I got a really nice brush load. Oh, that's a beautiful scent. That really is terrific. All right, here we go. This is the third shave soap that we've reviewed on the channel. We've done Burn the Ships, Merlin, which are both very, very good. And now, the Great Reset. I'll definitely have a link to the product page so you can get up there and order it. And check it out. My thanks to Robert Chipola for sending it along. My thanks to him and everyone at Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. And again, wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful soap base. Just, I mean, just give it some nice, nice, give it a little bit of water, some nice water, and uh, a good synthetic brush, and just do some nice loading. And before you know it, boom, lather! <laughs> That's wonderful, because... It's covering, it's giving me good coverage of two days worth of beard growth. Look at that. That's marvelous. That's absolutely fantastic. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to heat this razor up under some hot, 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 hot water. I am doing a warm water shave. Next time around, when I use this soap and whatever I razor I use, I'm going to do cold water just to try it out because I think it's going to perform very, very well. Warm water, cold water, whatever. All right. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that is, that's really, that's really, really terrific. Nice and smooth. Wonderful glide. Good cushion. Just really slicing through two days worth of beard growth. Really. No tugging or pulling anywhere on the neck. This really does have some, 
some really nice glide to it. Enough gliding protection where I'm doing just a little bit of touch up after after the lather's been removed. There's enough slickness there. Oh yeah, the nice job underneath the nostrils. All right, uh, no tugging or pulling on the upper lip. Really, really terrific, terrific, smooth uh, glide, nice slickness. Hey, first pass done, let's rinse. Yeah, that's a nice first pass. I'm right on the cusp of being socially acceptable. Uh, if I really had to, I could run out the door and I would be able to... Uh, you know, get through a good, good portion of the day without having to worry about five o'clock shadow or anything like that. One minute, a little bit of, a little bit in my eye. But yeah, terrific. All right, we're gonna. Ooh, that's nice and warm. <laughs> gonna go ahead and lather up for pass number two. The the razor and blade are very, very good. And uh, I'm thinking maybe two passes and a touch-up, maybe three passes. We'll see. Uh, I think that uh, this is a shave soap that works very, very well with a wide variety of pre-shades. Certainly the cube will do good. If you want to use a cremo and then build this in a, in a bowl, build a lather in a bowl, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll just paint on very, very nicely. Uh, I'm right there at that nice, nice, sweet spot of consistency where it's not overly thin, it's not overly thick and pasty, it's just right. I'm right at that nice yogurty uh, level, uh, absolutely terrific. We're going to go with uh, pass number two, we're going to go east to west across the grain. Really enjoying this razor a great, great deal. Boy, again, no tugging or pulling at all. Just, just nicely shaving the whisker away. Razor head is very solid on the handle. It has not loosened up, but I do double check it as I shave. Probably saw that just then. Again, some nice, nice protection. Nice glide. Scent is marvelous. Marvelous scent. I can usually gauge Usually, I usually gauge uh, protection of a shave cream and uh, smoothness and glide that's, and that sort of thing by uh, whether or not I'm getting any tugging on the upper lip or on various areas of the neck. Got a couple of guys right here. You can see that right there. Those are little, little guys. So there was just a little bit there. All right. That'll probably close up with an alum block. That's not a problem at all. So... 
felt just a little bit there. All right, so let's go ahead and let's rinse just a little bit. Pass number two done, let's rinse. Yeah, the, uh, the razor is very, very efficient. When I did my first review, uh, my question was whether or not it was going to be so efficient that I might give myself a little bit of a nick because uh, it was so smooth I wouldn't feel it. And I think this was the case right here, but you can see that, that it's so very, very slight. Uh, and where are we here? Well, I am going to do a third pass. I think I need a third pass, but I think it's going to be a light third pass, a little bit of a touch-up third pass, that sort of thing. Okay, there we go. Boy, plenty on the brush. Really, really terrific. We're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Very nice over here in this area where I thought that I might have a couple of phantom nicks. Very nice and smooth there. I might have uh, might have stretched my skin a little too much, so it might be a little bit of technique. Boy, I got that nicely there, and then right there too. Just shaved the corners of my mouth away nicely, and you can't really see anything there. It's very, very minute. I think I may have stretched my neck a little too much. I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's going to be fine. A lot of nice slickness and protection from this shave cream. I think a lesser shave soap it could have been far, far worse. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a boy, that's a nice that's a nice shave. That's on my way to BBS, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Wow, that's terrific. Two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. That's terrific. Some nice slickness there that I had to remove. Again, good glide, good slickness. Uh, I like the cushion. Love the scent. Absolutely love the scent. This is a shave soap I'm going to be using again. This with Merlin and also Burn the Ships. All three of them are very, very good. They will deliver a really nice shave for you. They have for me. Let me put it that way. They have for me. All right, you can't even see. There's nothing there. I mean, it just... Nothing there, nothing there. I mean, why even count it? All right, as I say, a lesser soap, yeah. Yeah, a lesser soap would have, may have, may have, uh, may have allowed uh, more of a nick, so to speak. I think the gliding here and everything really compensated for my break in technique. I think I stretched my neck a little too much, stretched the skin. This is why I don't stretch my skin with my, with my hands, my opposing hand, is because I feel that it might stretch too much. So that's why I try to use my facial muscles. All right, cold water rinse. Oh, that was really, really very, very nice. I want a few more splashes of cold water because it's a warm, warm week so far. 
last few days have been upper 80s. Nothing there. Look at that, huh? That's the chase up to the rescue. That really is. That really is. Again, I think sometimes I, you know, you saw me. I was stretching quite a bit there. Probably should not have done that. All right. Here's the Allen block. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. This has been a great shave. Absolutely marvelous shave. All right, gonna run it under some cold water. Here we go. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, I got a few things there. And then we'll, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Few, a few things there, no doubt about it. This allowed for a very, very close shave. Although, as I've said, the razor, even in my review, the razor, I think, can be deceptively mild. This one, this razor here, very, very efficient with a mild quality, but I think it's deceptively mild. I think you really, I think uh, one day's worth of beard growth is uh, two pass with this razor. Three, uh, two days, two to three days worth of beard growth, the razor is probably uh, going to give me a good shave, and I'm going to probably need two passes, a touch up, three passes, that sort of thing. And I think that's what we had here today. Yeah, let me show you the lather. Here it is right here. Look, I got plenty left. And look, look at that, huh? <laughs> that's great. That is absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful lather. Boy, that's just terrific. And again, I'm looking at my neck, nothing there. Some, some, some zinging, but no stinging. Few zings, and I think it was from that. And I think that again, I think had I used a lesser quality shave soap, uh, you know, my breaking technique would have resulted in uh, probably uh, a couple of good nicks, maybe even some weepers there. I didn't get them because of this shave soap. I think the quality and the protection of shave soap is so good that it really. Um, it really protected me when I had that slight breaking technique, which I think was overstretching my skin there a little bit. All right, here we go. We're going to finish it up with some aftershave right here. The Great Reset aftershave. Oh boy, I'm going to shake this up a little bit. I don't know if it has to be, I don't know if you have to give it a good shake or not, but I'm going to do that just to be on the safe side because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just going to go ahead and do this just like that. Oh, that's a great scent. This has not only a great scent, but the aftershave has some nice uh, moisturizing qualities. It really does. That is, that's terrific. That really is great. EDT and aftershave splash, so it's going to last a little bit longer than your off-the-shelf big box store, drugstore aftershave, which is really nice. And it's not overwhelming. It is really nice. It's refined, gentlemanly, has a rugged quality, but it's going to be in the background a little bit. So if you walk into a smaller enclosed space, I don't think you're going to be hitting anyone over the head with it. But uh, I think as they draw near to you, they will draw even closer. <laughs> That's my guess. It's a terrific, terrific scent. Wow. Great, great shave. We're full, we'll, we will forego doing a little bit of... Uh, balm on the head because I'm going to be doing a head shave later. I am way past due. But this has been a great, great shave. Good glide, good slickness, good protection. You saw the protection. Absolutely wonderful. No nicks, no cuts, no nicks, no cuts. Look, no nicks, no cuts. This soap saved my shave. Absolutely wonderful. The Great Reset from Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. I'll have links. Check it out. It really is terrific. Hey, thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me yellow next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of this page, as well as some other great, great 
shave company sellers. Boy, they offer some great artisan shave soaps, some wonderful, wonderful shave gear. Please give them a look. I certainly would appreciate it. They offer some great, great stuff for your shave. Hey, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rady, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.